Move valuation is one of the most important parts of protecting your belongings, but it's often misunderstood. While moving companies want to make sure they give you a move that fits your budget, valuation is not the place to skimp, if at all possible. So let's take a look at why. Move valuation is essentially your choice in how liable the moving company will be if something goes wrong or gets broken. Unlike many businesses, moving company liability is regulated by the Federal Department of Transportation. As such, federal law requires us to tell you that valuation is not insurance. But you can think of it like something you pay for protection in case something breaks. You basically have two options when choosing valuation, basic or full coverage. In basic liability, the moving company provides repair or replacement for up to a maximum of 60 cents per pound per article. There is no charge for this valuation option, but if you want it, you must choose it because if you leave valuation unselected, we are required by law to default you to full coverage and you will be charged for it. Basic coverage may sound enticing, but think of it like this. If you had a $1,400 TV break during a move and your TV weighed 55 pounds, under basic valuation you would get only $33 if the item can't be repaired for that amount or less. This option doesn't leave you much protection, but it's there if you need it. In full replacement, you select the level of protection that covers the total value of your belongings. You can change the deductible on the coverage to be either $0, $250, or $500. This will change the cost of the valuation of your quote, but still give you full coverage for your belongings subject to the deductible that you choose. With full coverage, if something happened to break or be lost, one of three things would happen. One, the item is repaired. Two, the item is replaced with a similar item. Three, a cash settlement is reached for the repair or replacement cost. So let's go back to the $1,400 TV. In this case, if it broke, the moving company would first look to see if it could be repaired. If not, they will try and replace it with a similarly valued item or give a cash settlement for the value of the item, minus your deductible. In full coverage, you are much better protected, but there are still some limitations. Valuation does not protect well your high value items because it's limited to $100 per pound of weight. That means high value items like artwork or valuable antiques that are worth more than $100 per pound of their weight need to be disclosed separately in writing in order to be protected at their full value. Ask your estimator for the form if you have these items. Additionally, to help increase the liability of the moving company, avoid actions such as packing your own boxes, packing dangerous, hazardous, or perishable items without the mover's knowledge, or only having basic coverage. These will greatly limit the liability of the movers in the rare case of an item being lost or broken. Remember, this is federal law, so we want you to make use of it to your benefit as much as possible. Choosing which valuation option is best for you is something you need to seriously consider with your estimator when planning your move. Although they are rare, sometimes accidents or circumstances out of the control of reputable moving companies happen, and valuation is there to protect you in those cases. Please give us a call, chat with us online, or work with your estimator with any questions on move valuation or your move in general, and we would be happy to assist you.